I'm Vanessa Ruck and I'm here in the XL Moto Garage and today we're going to be looking at some tips on how to clean your motorcycle helmet. As a really important part of your safety equipment, looking after your motorcycle helmet is an important part of being a motorcycle rider. So today we're going to look through some of the tips and tricks to get your motorcycle helmet fresh and clean. We'll also talk about some product suggestions, which are all available on the XL Moto website. Dirt can come from outside, i.e. dead flies, bugs, mud, water, splash of road dirt, all those kinds of things. You've also got the dirt from yourself as a rider, AKA the sweat that's coming off your head on the inside. So we're gonna talk about how to combat that dirt in your helmet. First of all, let's look at the process of cleaning a glossy motorcycle helmet because it is slightly different if you have a matte helmet. Now, things that we're gonna be focusing on as far as cleaning the helmet, you've got the main helmet surface, you've got the vent areas, you've of course got the visor and the pin lock. Now there is a pin lock cleaning process for that anti-fogging system. So we'll get into that as well. And you do also have the inside of the helmet, which is in contact with your head. So first of all, let's start with the inside. Now, when you are turning your motorcycle helmet upside down, be careful not to get it scratched on the surface. So I'm gonna grab a microfiber cloth and pop it on that. If you have a pillow or some kind of soft surface, that's also a really good idea because you don't want to be causing scratches whilst you're maintaining your helmet. The first product we're going to use is the Moto Helmet Interior Clean. This is an antibacterial system. And with most cleaning products, you will find that there's pretty clear instructions on the label for how to use them. So do look at the specific product that you're using. For this one, I'm gonna be spraying it onto the inside of the helmet and leaving it. And it's as magic as that. The antibacterial properties of the cleaner are going to work away on the inside of the helmet. I'm gonna wait until it's dry and it will give me a nice fresh fragrance inside the helmet. So I'm gonna spray that round, get all the points. It's then a case of letting that dry. How does it smell already? It smells fresh actually. It's a good smell. Now that is one way to clean the inside of your helmet. If it gets particularly bad, it's also possible with most helmets to remove the internal padding and actually give it a proper soapy warm wash. It's not something you necessarily want to be doing every day, but it is possible. I'm gonna show you here a few little poppers and this cheek piece, just removing the chin strap will slide straight out. It can be a little bit intimidating taking these out for the first time, wondering whether you're gonna get them back in properly, but just take a little care, think about where you've taken them from, remember where they go back to. It's actually really straightforward, something that you can do at home. They are pretty versatile things. Do read the instructions that comes with your helmet for care of these things. But from experience from a lot of people out there, you can be quite soapy with them to get them clean. Putting it back in is a reverse process. So you're going to align the poppers, position it back in, make sure that you are getting the chin fastening strap correctly and then pop it back into the helmet. And of course you would want to do that with all of the foam on the inside of the helmet, but for demonstration purposes, we don't need to do the whole thing right now. There we go. So it can be a little bit fiddly, but it is the best way to get the most freshness back into your motorcycle helmet. So I've used the interior, I'm gonna leave that to dry. Now let's take a look at the next part of the helmet. And I recommend we do the visor next. Now the visors on majority of helmets are removable. So one option is to remove the visor completely. That will enable you to really get into the underside of the helmet. If you're not wanting to do quite such a thorough job, you obviously can do it whilst on. So next up, we've got the Motol helmet and visor cleaner. We're going to get the cleaner, get the visor cloth, give it a little bit of a spray, and then simply wipe that off. Now, if you have some very big bugs that are probably dried on, you might find you need to do 
a couple of sprays and maybe give it a couple of moments to really soak in to get those bugs off, you'll know pretty quickly how much you need to do. So that's the outside looking pretty clean. Next, I'm gonna do the inside. Now for the sake of this, I'm not going to take the visor off because it's not quite that dirty, but you can wipe the inside. And there we have a nice clean visor. This helmet doesn't have a pin lock anti-fog system in the visor, so I'm gonna grab a slightly different helmet quickly just to demonstrate how you go about cleaning your pin lock system. Here we go with a pin lock insert. You can see here the silicon seal and the additional insert in the visor. Now the pin lock system is effectively an anti-fogging system which enables you to keep clear vision and not have that fog coming up in your helmet. So first of all, I'm gonna take the visor off, slightly different for every helmet, but normally it's a pretty easy process. So there we go. We've then got the visor with the pin lock. To get that off, the easiest way is to use your body bend the visor ever so slightly, tuck your nails underneath the edge and pop the insert out. This can then be cleaned with your visor cleaner in a very similar way to your visor. You then wanna make sure that this dries fully. Now the reason I recommend taking your insert out and giving it a clean is because the way the technology of Pinlock works is having a void of air that insulates between the two temperatures inside and outside of your helmet. And over time, it can act a little bit like a sponge and some moisture can get into that air gap, which then prevents the anti-fogging system working. So periodically, it's well worth taking your insert out, giving a little bit of a dry refresh and putting it back on, and that will enable you to keep clear vision out on the road. Make sure it's totally dry when you put it back in. I would recommend leaving it for a little while to dry. So we'll uh, fast forward a few minutes. Once it's dry, you can get that insert back in. So again, using the body, position it onto your hip, bend it slightly and hook in the other side. And then it should pop into place. There we go, the insert's back in. I can now give the outside a final clean and get it back on the helmet. Let's go back to our glossy helmet to carry on. So using the same Moto product, which is the helmet and visor cleaner, we can do the outside of the helmet. So I'm gonna spray that on. Again, depending on how dirty your helmet is, will vary how much you need to use. I'm gonna get a nice fresh microfiber cloth and give it a wipe. Making sure that you have a decent amount of moisture when you're doing this will help present, prevent scratches. If you start wiping it dry, you are likely to scratch the surface of your helmet. So if in doubt, put a little bit more on. What you might find sometimes is that your air vents get a little bit bunged up, maybe some bugs go in it, maybe if you're doing slightly more off-road riding to get some mud in there. What you might wanna do is get a nice soft bristled brush, for example, an old toothbrush, and use that to get into the cracks around the air vents. In the process of cleaning your helmet, it's also quite a good opportunity to get to know your helmet a little bit more and look for any kind of damage or impacts that might have happened, because this is a really important piece of safety equipment. And if you find anything that seems amiss, it's a good opportunity whilst cleaning to spot that. Now that is a shiny glossy helmet. For a matte helmet, we do actually recommend a slightly different product. So here we have a matte surface cleaner. So here we have a matte helmet. You can see this has got a little bit slimy and grimy and with the matte surfaces, when they get dirty, they tend to lose that amazing matte finish. So. Again, with all cleaning products, do check out the label on the correct usage instructions. For this one, I need to give it a good shake. So I'm gonna give it a shake. Okay, that feels pretty shaken. We're then going to spray it on the surface. Try not 
try not to get it everywhere like I have. And then I'm going to let it stand for three minutes. Three minutes have magically passed. I'm back to my helmet, so we're going to wipe it clean now. Again, you do want to make sure that if it's really, really dirty, that you're not sliding dirt around on the helmet. So making sure it's nice and moist is a good idea. You might need to do this process a couple of times, depending on how dirty your helmet is. This helmet was pretty grimy. Uh, and you also want to think about which order you clean it in. So for this kind of product, you want to do your lens last. That's looking a lot better. So it just needed a little bit more of a clean. Perfect, right. Quickly do the visor as well. So there we have a clean matte helmet and a clean glossy helmet. There is one more product though that might be worth adding to your kit and that is the perfect leather. This is gonna be useful on your leathers but also some helmets, for example, this shoey has leather in it. So around the bottom, we can see there's a bit of leather. This product is an ideal one to maintain that bit. So again, read the instructions on the label. Smells fresh. Right, got another microfiber cloth. I'm going to apply a little bit of this Motol cleaner onto the cloth, pop it onto the leather going to wipe it round, let it sit for a couple of minutes. And then once it's sat, you can buff it off and you'll get a nice shiny finish. So give that a couple of minutes to work. Then you're going to take a dry microfiber cloth and buff it. There we go. That's shining up really nicely. Keeping your leather moisturized and clean is a really great idea to give longevity to it. It is a natural fiber and it can crack and dry. So it's a good one to look after. The Motol cleaning products that we've used today are the M1 Helmet and Visor Clean, the M2 Helmet Interior Clean, the M3 Perfect Leather, and the E11 Matte Surface Clean. And then I've used those with the ProWorks Microfiber Cloth and the ProWorks Microfiber Visor Cleaning Cloth. So there we have a selection of different tips and products to use to clean your motorcycle helmet. Hopefully this video has been useful. I'm Vanessa Ruck here in the XL Moto Garage. All of these products and cloths, etc., are available on the XL Moto website. Thank you so much for joining me here and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.